What's poppin' kids? And today, I'm gonna be doing a script showcase video on Obfuscate and Name Generator, which is a new script I just made. And you might be asking, is it paid? No. L surprisingly, to most people, the script is not paid because it, took, it didn't take me very long to make and it wasn't that hard. So this one's gonna be completely free for all you guys to use. So if you wanna use this, you're gonna wanna go to my website and there will be a post on this specific script and there's, there'll be like a, a link to the um, place on my website where you can get this uh, script loader thingy. So what does it do? This UI can basically generate usernames that are like I am Bruce thing or sign up Zen and it looks like these like these I's and L's so you can see some examples and it can also check to see if the generated usernames are taken and there's also a copy button but the exploit must have the set clipboard function and making names like these will make it much harder for moderators to kick you and whatnot so I'll be right back and okay I'm back and we're gonna go ahead and run the script and here's what it looks like so as you guys can see it's a nice GUI and the length of the username can be between 12 and 20 characters because anything under that and pretty much every single one of these names are taken. So if I hit generate, as you can see, it generates new ones every time. And then if I hit check generated username, it'll tell me if the name is available. So if I copy this and I go to... If I go to um, Chrome, make a, make a new account with this name. As you can see, it's not taken. And then you can, and then you would do the challenge or whatever, and then you can make another account using this username. So what about accounts that are taken, you may ask. Well, let me go back to my baseplate game that I was in. Shit. Okay. So we're gonna go back in again. And then, if you hit generate with a smaller amount of characters, you'll likely get one that's taken. So if I pick this one and hit check generate a name, oh wow, I got lucky. This one's actually available. But if I do another one, as you can see, this one is unavailable. So if I um, copy this username and then I try to make an account with it, as you can see, it's already in use. So it can check to make sure that the usernames that you generate aren't taken. Which is a really nice feature for some people because some people might want to make sure that their usernames are available before they even try to make one. So this is a nice little way to check to make sure that they're available. And if not, it'll say no. So that's basically what the script is. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, make sure to leave a like for no ad fi links in the description or any like links for ties because I don't do that dumb shit. I make enough money off of my YouTube videos. So I'll see you guys in my next video, and I'll see you later. Peace out.